Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we finished with the error handling part, we finished with the message handling part. Now we will proceed further. If you will see the functional specification, we got the ALV output of six columns. Yes, we got the ALV output of six columns. If I will show you the output, if I will put that date, we got the ALV output of six columns. Now we require this information above ALV. We require SO item details, means this is the title, a SO creation date, label, whatever the date we are passing, SO created by, whatever the name we are passing, this is ALV interactive report. So above ALV output, we want this, we want to display this particular information. We all know very well whenever we want to display the header or title for the ALV. Yes, we need to go for what? Top of page. Same thing is in classical report also. Whenever you want to give the header or title, yes, at the beginning of a page, we always, always use at which even top of page. Same thing is here. This is our ALV output. And above this, we want this header information. We want this title information for ALV. So we will go for what? Top of page. And in ALV playlist, it is fully, fully explained top of page. Now, based upon our current requirement, we will also, also go for top of page. Now, how we will proceed? I will go to back button. Now, we will simply, simply go for this function module. This function module is displaying the output in the form of ALV grid. And you can see we have a parameter here, I underscore callback top of page. Uncomment this parameter because we not to give the header or title information. So we will simply, simply uncomment this parameter. Now in front of this parameter, give some name. You can give any name, it is totally, totally your wish. Suppose I'm giving the name, suppose top of page, top underscore off underscore page. You can give any name, A, B, C, D, whatever you want to give, it is totally your wish. But whatever the name you are giving, with the same name, you need to create a subroutine. Same to same name. If name mismatch is there, it will not reflect. Changes will not reflect. Many times we saw the people here, they will use underscore. Whenever they will create the subroutine, they will put hyphen. Same to same thing. We need to go for same to same name in the subroutine. We all know whenever we have a subroutine, it starts with form and it ends with end form. So I will write form top of page. And for every form, there is a end form. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now the most important part from the interview perspective, in every interview, we will always, always ask this question. What is the prerequisite for top of page? What is the prerequisite for PF status? In future, we'll come to PF status also. If you are going for top of page, PF status, 
what is the prerequisite the most most important thing do not forget to pass the program name else what will happen we will write the logic very correct but changes will not reflect whatever we are doing we will not get the expected output so never never forget to give the program name so uncomment this parameter i underscore callback program and give the program name in front of this parameter we all know whenever we want to give the program name we have a system variable for the program name what is the system variable sci ref id whenever something some variable starts with sy it means it is a sap system variable it is system variable for report id report name program id or program name we can say anything so this system variable will take the program id will go for program id i'll check the syntax and i will activate now we will go for our specific requirement now in this subroutine we will write the logic we will write the logic and we want this kind of output this kind of output now would to achieve this particular output we will make use of this function module it is fully explained in the alv playlist also we will make use of the function module reuse alv commentary right it is clearly mentioned the function module reuse alv commentary right is used in the subroutine of top of page what is the subroutine of top of page this is our subroutine of top of page and in this subroutine yes we will call which function module reuse alv commentary right which is used to give the header or title to the alv grid so in this particular subroutine we will simply call the function module reuse underscore alv underscore commentary underscore right so i will go to pattern button now i will call the function module reuse underscore alv underscore commentary underscore right we'll press enter so we will use this function module now it underscore list underscore commentary in front of this i will pass some name of the internal table suppose i am saying lt underscore list the type of lt underscore list will be same as that of it underscore list underscore commentary here it is exporting it means in the function module it will be importing so i will double click i will go to import i will copy this type i will copy this type and i will declare in my program i will write lt underscore list type table type and if you see it is a table type it is a table type the stable type is referring to this structure type and structure has how many column three column type key and info will come to this part now i will declare work area also what is work area lwa underscore list type work area is always always structure type 
this table type is referring to this structure type. So I will copy and pass in my program. Work area type, structure type. I do not require these three things. So I will simply remove this. I'll check the syntax and activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with how to give now header or title to the ALB output. And we all know we can achieve this by using top of page. So we simply, simply uncommented this parameter I underscore callback top of page. We gave some name in front of this I underscore callback top of page. Do not forget to create the subroutine with same to same name. Even if there is a single mismatch, your subroutine will not call. Now, the prerequisite is whenever we are going for top of page or PF status in the future topics, yes, never forget to give the program name. Always, always. So, we will, uh, we un so I uncommented this parameter. In front of this, I gave the program name using the system variable psi rep id. So whenever this program will, whenever this function module will call, what is the name of the subroutine? What is the name you gave in front of this parameter top of page? So SAP will simply, simply check for the same to same subroutine, subroutine with the same name. And SAP will call this particular function module because we have written the logic inside this subroutine. In the next video, we will pass the values to the function module. These values we will pass to the function module so that it will appear as a title or header to the ALV output. That part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.